Welcome back to another lab test video where today I'm exposing 22 quercetin brands currently available on Amazon. And the results, well I'm afraid they're pretty ugly with one brand containing no quercetin at all and six brands containing less than 25% of the label claim. So if you want to protect yourself from being scammed, keep watching. All of the products tested were initially purchased direct from Amazon by Now Foods and samples were then subjected to in-house HPLC and HPTLC testing. Additionally, in order to obtain an independent report, samples were also tested externally by the highly regarded Eurofin labs, with both verification of the presence of quercetin and the actual milligram content tested for. Now, in cases where a small discrepancy existed between the internal and external results, I've simply used the mean of the two. However, this did not skew the results in any way. Now, I'm going to list the results in order from worst to best. So we'll kick things off in last place with the worst offending scam product. And that honor goes to Quercetin from Viodis. These scammers claim 250 milligrams per capsule on the label. However, in reality, it contained no quercetin at all. In 21st place, we have quercetin from Caden Organic. Now, this product had a label claim of 100 milligrams. However, it actually only contained 4% of that, returning an average of 4 milligrams. And not doing much better in 20th place, we have quercetin from Stereous Nutrition. The label claimed 400 milligrams, however, each capsule contained only 7% of that, providing a paltry 28 milligrams. With the worst three offenders out of the way, we can now at least get into double digit percentages. However, as you'll see, most of those are still far short of acceptable. In 19th place, let me present quercetin from A Squared Nutrition. This dodgy brand claimed 500 milligrams in the label, yet only delivered 19% of that with a rather pathetic 96 milligrams. Next up in 18th place, we have quercetin from Ancient Bliss. And with a label claim of 500 milligrams, this product delivered a not so blissful 99 milligrams, which is only 20% of what buyers believed they were receiving. And in 17th place, it doesn't get much better. Here we have quercetin from Gage Nutrition claiming to contain 250 milligrams. In reality, however, it delivered only 21% of that, providing a measly 53 milligrams. 16th place goes to Quercetin from Smart Nutrition, which since testing appears to have changed their name to Smart Nutrilabs. However, the pack size and label claims remain as per the previous branding. Same product, you decide. The original product claimed 500 milligrams, but actually contained only 110, which is 22% of the label claim. Next, in 15th place, we have quercetin from Nasabi Ahava. And I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This product delivered only 25% of the claimed 500 milligrams, providing a decidedly fraudulent 125 milligrams per capsule. In 14th place, we have quercetin from Supplement Studio. This product delivered 33% of the 250 milligram label claim, providing only 83 milligrams per capsule. Next up in 13th place, we have quercetin from Nature Bell. Now the unlucky customers that purchased this product actually own and received 33% of the 500 milligram label claim, with each capsule containing a miserable 165 milligrams. 12th place goes to quercetin from Global Healing. However, there won't be much healing taking place here with capsules containing only 88 milligrams of the claimed 250. That's just 35% of what the customer paid for. And in 11th place, we have quercetin from the brand Sandhus. The label claimed 500 milligrams, but only delivered 40% of that with 200 milligrams per capsule. So that takes us up to the top 10. And thankfully, things do improve considerably with three brands actually exceeding their label claims. However, before we get there, there's still several more scam products to uncover first. I'd also like to take this opportunity to tell you about the Quercetin brand that I use. For me, it's a priority to use the very purest lab tested supplements. And where possible, I always opt for those products that are free from fillers and flow agents. That's why I buy my Quercetin from Do Not Age as this product has been third-party lab tests verified as 99.8% pure and exceeded the 400 milligram label claim by two milligrams. 
Now, although this company doesn't sell on Amazon, they have very kindly provided viewers of this video with an exclusive 10% discount code, which I'm told will work for all products in their range, including subscriptions and special offers. Now, back to those results. In 10th place, we have quercetin from Nutrivine with a label claim of 400 milligrams. Unfortunately, this product only delivered 42% of that, providing 168 milligrams per capsule. Next, in ninth place, we have quercetin from Amazing Formulas. And I'm certainly amazed at how they get away with providing customers with only 67% of the 500 milligram label claim, delivering a not so amazing 334 milligrams. Eighth place goes to quercetin from Doublewood Supplements with a label claim of 500 milligrams. And I'm actually quite surprised that this one only delivered 76% of that, providing 382 milligrams per capsule. In seventh place, we have quercetin from Nutricost. The label claimed 440 milligrams, but the product only delivered 87% of that, with capsules containing an average of 383 milligrams. And in sixth place is quercetin from Nui Nutra, with a label claim again of 440 milligrams and a capsule content of 388 milligrams, delivering 88% of what customers paid for. Next, up in fifth place is quercetin from Balance Breens, with a label claim of 500 milligrams, but only managing to provide 88% of that number with a reported 440 milligrams. In fourth place, is quercetin from the brand Tonic. The label claimed 500 milligrams, but actually only delivered 91% of that with an average 450 milligrams per capsule. Now, before I reveal the top three, all of which, by the way, exceeded their label claims, I think it's important to mention that quercetin from both Doublewood Supplements and the brand Nasabi Ahava declared vegetarian cellulose capsules on the label, but were actually found to contain lower cost gelatin capsules. Make of that what you will. In third place, we have quercetin from Mount Angel Vitamins. With a label claim of 265 milligrams per capsule, the product actually exceeded this by 4%, delivering an average of 276 milligrams. And in second place, we have quercetin from Forest Leaf. The 250 milligram label claim was exceeded by 5%, delivering an average of 263 milligrams per capsule. And lastly, today's winner, based on milligram content, is quercetin from Luma Nutrition. The product had a label claim of 250 milligrams, but delivered an extra 15%, with each capsule containing an average 288 milligrams. So well done, Lumen Nutrition. Just a pity about the unnecessary capsule fillers. Now I'm pretty sure we'll all be in agreement that it's a very worrying situation when only three out of 22 products tested actually managed to satisfy their label claims. Worse still, 15 of these products are a ripoff at least 12 of which are an outright scam. All of which verifies why we must scrutinize all supplements before purchasing. That's all until next week's lab test video. And as usual, take care, be healthy, and I'll see you again soon.